staying at home could be very frustrating, especially if that's for a long period of time. What if there could be ways to use this time by indulging ourselves in various interesting and productive activities? So, here is 10 productive things to do at home. Number 1. Find the bookworm in you. This is a no-brainer to be honest. Besides, being a great entertainer, this can be a great use of your me time, simply because you will enhance your knowledge of people, society, history and culture. Also, research suggests that reading books keeps you smarter and more empathetic. Perhaps, the secret to getting through these times all in one piece is hidden in one of those books lying on your bookshelf, unread for the longest time? Number 2. Unleash your creativity. Get a new hobby or pursue your hobby. It's that time to pursue that hobby that has always brought you happiness. For some, it may be time to sharpen their culinary abilities or resuming the paintings that they have put on hold given their busy schedule or maybe playing guitar which was lost somewhere in the busy schedule. Number 3. Do an online course. Tones of online courses are only at a mouse click distance, readily available no matter what our interest is. Is there a field you find intriguing and want to learn more about, but never got the time because of school or work or social events taking up all of your time? Or maybe an area you are already exploring and want to further improve in? Now is the perfect opportunity to expand your knowledge and gain new skills. Number 4. Learn to cook or bake. Can't tell the difference between a spatula and spaghetti? Got the neighborhood dabo on speed dial? Fret not, cooking isn't rocket science, and there's no dearth to the online videos, recipes, and kitchen hacks that can help you navigate through this unfamiliar terrain. Reach out to friends and family for cooking tips. You can also begin a book of family recipes. Cooking need not be a solo endeavor, involve the kids, partner or roommate by splitting tasks, or call a bunch of friends on a group video call. Even if you're by yourself, put on some music, pour some wine and you've got a party. Number 5. Take a virtual workout class. Reaching an age where you are starting to care more about your body's strength. An online fitness session is a great indoor activity that both you and your teenagers can benefit from and enjoy. There are so many fun workout videos online that you can all follow along and that require absolutely no equipment, you could even take a virtual daily dance class together. While it's a good idea to still head out for a walk or run, an at-home workout will really help teens to burn off all that pent-up energy. Number 6. Play board games. If you're worried that your teens have spent most of the lockdown holed up in their bedrooms on their own, why not try getting them to join in with a family board game? It may take a bit of convincing, but playing games together can actually be a lot of fun and are a great way to spend some time together. You could even create a grand prize for the winner to motivate your teens. We know it can be very tough spending all their time at home, but when they see that your company isn't actually terrible, it may become more of an enjoyable experience.
Number 7. Learn a new language. Remember, all those times you said you'd learn Italian, Spanish or French, but just couldn't find a spare minute? Well, here's your chance. Spend a couple of minutes online, and you will find a ton of places from where you can learn any language. Number 8. Start a blog. Have you ever thought about starting a blog and sharing your experience and insights, or starting a discussion about a topic you feel passionate about? What about writing a fictional story inspired by your own life? Drawing and experimenting with different mediums? This could be a great time to build your audience, especially if you have relatively cheap indoor hobbies that you can share. Number 9. Do some gardening. Sick of spending all your time indoors? Transform your garden into a tranquil space so that you can venture outside for some much-needed makeover. Don't have a garden, try redesigning the balcony and enjoy the view with your loved ones with a cup of coffee in the evening. Number 10. Spend time with your family. Some of us are more fortunate than others and have the luck of being at home with their families. Whether or not we are in the same space, the time we spend stuck at home is a great opportunity to catch up with family members and get some closure. Talking about our routines, development at work or school, new hobbies and interests, or future goals, is one way to do it. There are also tones of games and activities for family members to have fun and reconnect at the same time.